If you wanted to make the world a better place, what goals would you set? The elimination of hunger, education for all, or perhaps the end of poverty? What would you choose? In 2015, the UN is doing just that, setting goals to make the world better over the next 15 years. They've done this before. In the year 2000, the Millennium Development Goals were set, covering eight important areas. Overall, they were a great success. We've halved the proportion of people living in extreme poverty. Nine out of ten children are now enrolled in primary school. And we've made great progress against disease. The world is a better place because we set goals and worked hard to reach them. Fifteen years on, it's time to set them once more. However, right now the UN is being inundated with hundreds and hundreds of suggestions from interest groups all around the world. In fact, the list of suggestions is stretched out to more than 1,000 targets. Let's be realistic. 1,000 priorities is as good as zero priorities. And we're going to spend perhaps 700 billion over the next 15 years in these goals. So it's important we get them right. We need to pick the best ones, the ones that generate the most benefit. We can't do everything, and we can't waste our effort working towards goals that are not smart. So which ones should we choose? At the Copenhagen Consensus Center, we're working on delivering information that will make our choice simpler and smarter. We're putting together some of the best and brightest to look at this problem. We want to put a price tag on each proposal. This matters because the next set of UN goals is like a supermarket. Lots of choice, lots of appealing goals. But imagine if you didn't know how much each choice would cost, or how much good it would do. One idea would be to reduce malaria by 50%. Another could be to eliminate it. Eliminate sounds better, but if it costs much, much more, and we have to give up on something else, is it really the best choice out there? And what about reducing malaria versus reducing hunger versus avoiding pollution versus better education? In a perfect world, we should do all of these, but even large budgets run out, and we need to know which ones to pick off the shelf first. We want to be clear on the benefits that each proposal brings, so we end up with the goals we know we can afford and goals we know will make the world a better place. So if you want to help, what can you do? Make sure policymakers have the best information. Give us your help, join the conversation, and jump on to post2015consensus.com for more information.